Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the church, and this time, Apollinarianism. This one came from a man named Apollinaris the Younger, a bishop of Laodicea, sometime during the second half of the 300s. He was educated, intelligent, and a well-known writer, respected by the faithful in the church. However, he wanted to explain how Jesus could be one person and yet have two natures. There's nothing wrong with wanting such an explanation, but it's a tough puzzle and there are many ways to make mistakes while trying to solve it. Apollinaris' theory was that Jesus didn't have a full human nature, that the only parts of Jesus that were human were his body and the life in his body. He suggested that Jesus had only one mind, the divine mind. One of his reasons for thinking this was that he believed human minds were necessarily prone to sin. In the first place, we know that's not true, since Adam and Eve didn't have any inner temptation to sin at first. They had to be tempted by someone else before they made the choice to sin. We also know that Mary was sinless because she was full of grace, which is the opposite of sin. So there's no good reason to think that being inclined towards sin is a required part of the human mind. Also, if Jesus didn't have a human mind, there are certain Bible verses that would make a lot less sense, like, But of that day or hour no man knoweth, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but the Father. Mark 13, 32 We know that knowing all truth is an essential part of being God. So Jesus must know this day and this hour. So what does he mean when he says that the Son doesn't know it? We can say that his human mind doesn't have this knowledge while his divine mind does. Those who believe in Apollinarism would have a harder time answering this. Of course, the real problem with Apollinarism is that there's a reason why Jesus had a human nature, so that he could redeem it by his saving sacrifice on the cross. If he only had a human body and life, but not a human mind, then only human bodies and lives would be redeemed, but not human minds as well, the highest and most powerful part of humans. Those who, in recent years, have defended Apollinarism have generally done so on the basis that the natures of Jesus need to have some part of themselves in common in order for Jesus to be only one person. However, it's hard to see why we'd need to think that. When a head is put onto a hammer, those two pieces are only one hammer, but they have absolutely no parts in common. The only thing that connects the two pieces is that they're connected to each other through some means. So if, for instance, we were to propose that the human and divine minds of Jesus were connected by the fact that both directly, personally identified his human body as part of themselves, or some other explanation of the hypostatic union, that would be a connection which would make them a single person, despite having two natures. I've heard the mythical dog Cerberus used as one way of explaining the three-in-one trinity, and it seems like a similar concept could be used to explain how Jesus could be only one person, but with two minds, one human and one divine. That way, Jesus can bring his own fully human mind to the cross, as well as his divine mind, and redeem people's minds as well as their bodies, but without needing to suggest that they're separate people just because Jesus has more than one mind, in the same way that a dog with multiple heads isn't multiple dogs just because it has multiple brains. Still, it's understandable to be confused by the union between the human and divine natures of Jesus. It's that one place in the faith which is both naturally confusing and somewhat rarely analyzed. Just so long as you don't decide to take a stand on that heresy hill, being confused is no sin. Next time, more about the union of the natures of Jesus. What's monothelitism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.